Hello and welcome to the Nintendo Life's live reaction to the recent E3 Nintendo Direct broadcast. Uh, I'm Damien McFerrin and with me today is Mike Mason, Hello. Andy Green Hello. and Thomas Whitehead. And uh, basically we're just going to sum up what's happened recently on all of this uh, the excitement of the E3 Direct. As obviously you're all not too disappointed, I hope. With that. Slightly disappointed to be Slightly certain. disappointed. Slightly. But Slightly. I'm sure that'd be great. Yeah, <laughs> so that's your immediate reaction. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure the game's one of great, disappointment. But, yeah. yeah, so obviously the big news that came out of the whole thing, we got there, there were a couple of new announcements that we did we hadn't heard of before. The big one probably being Super Mario 3D World. That's probably one of the biggest announcements throughout the whole thing. I mean, it looks great. It looks like enormous fun. Um, four player mode, which looks brilliant. You know, that's kind of like a first for the 3D series and doing it that way. Uh, it's got Cat Mario in it, which you know <laughs> everyone likes cats. Everyone at the end cat of the day, Mario. yeah, you know, cats. But yeah, dog I mean, Mario would have been better, I think. Yeah, I think yeah, Dog Mario would have been there's pretty still, good. There's still yeah. time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that might be another reveal. But um, what are your thoughts about that? Obviously, it's a very different experience from you know maybe some people are expecting Super Mario Galaxy Three or something. You know, the Wii U's had new Super Mario Brothers Wii U, mm -hmm. and maybe a lot of people were waiting for the really big reveal whereas this feels kind of like it's not really a massively unique title it's obviously mm. taking a lot of inspiration for 3d land mm. and then adding in the four player stuff so how do you think that's going to work in terms of gameplay well yeah i think what you're saying there about similarities to 3d land are important i think one of the things that galaxy had was that it kind of grabbed people what well, did with me anyway grabbed people made them want a wee because it was just so different, so imagined. It was really creative. unique at the time, wasn't it? Yeah. I don't think this, based on what we've seen, has that effect. It's not. It's not doing anything. Particularly, it's all sort of nice design, but mm. there's nothing particularly eye-catching. Yeah, think. that's certainly what I thought. And um, I obviously, th I think we've we mentioned this before as well. The, obviously, the fact that it's not going to be. It's, it's 3D, but it's, but not. it's not going to have that <laughs> wow factor that the yes. 3DS version had, yeah. where you've got the depth, the use of depth. So, uh, yeah, it's quite interesting. I noticed that I think they're obviously trying to sort of reference Super Mario Brothers 2 as well with that, with the character selection. Mm -hmm. which is quite ability, isn't it? Yeah, which is quite a, that's something that's obviously not been done for a, for a long time. For me, it sort of feels like it's coasting too much on retro rather than actually doing something new like Mario Galaxy yeah. games. Because when they announced they were going to do a 3D Mario game, I really expected something that used the gamepad in some crazy way. That yeah. You know, yeah, just, that's true. it was completely out of the box, you know, like Mario Galaxy, really. This feels like a retread, doesn't it? Exactly, it feels yeah. like they're, they're going along what they know is a safe route. Exactly, and at this point, I don't think, all right, maybe because they're having problems with Wii U, they feel they need a safe route. Mm. But I would argue they need the unique route. They need to just yeah. go crazy with it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we'll all buy it, we'll all love it. But, yeah. you know, it's not, I think Mario <laughs> Galaxy is the reference point there. That was kind of like, that really took everyone by surprise when that came out and is still amazing now. Mm -hmm. Whereas this like feels not quite as unique as it possibly could be. I think they're trying to sort of make a, a multiplayer experience though. Mm. The Galaxy is single player. Yeah, yeah, I suppose that's... use sort of brand messages so yeah, to get as many people. Exactly, yeah, that is, that's an important part of the whole yeah. selling point of the system, isn't it? They want to get as many people as they can around one machine. And I'm sure that bit would be, part of it would be brilliant. But um, yeah, and then obviously the other big Mario related announcement was Mario Kart 8, which we kind of knew was coming. Um, the, it's got like the anti-gravity angle, which is something I wasn't expecting, I've got to admit. When I saw yeah, the transforming yeah. things, I thought, okay, this is a little bit like Sonic yeah. Racing Transformed. But um, no, that could be quite an interesting mechanic. It looked like the, the, the tracks obviously have multiple routes on, stuff like that. Two mm -hmm. people can take a different route mm -hmm. around what is essentially the same circuit, but one's on top, one's on bottom. So I suppose it, that's quite interesting. But again, does it feel like they're playing it safe with that? I mean, it's... I don't think that... I was happy enough with that one, to mm. be honest, because it's Mario Kart. There's, not, there's yeah. only so much you can do with that. And they've already innovated quite a lot when you yeah. think about it with you know, the Wii. They kind of had the bikes and the stunts and yeah. sort of really good online. And yeah, 3D they mentioned that the online on this is the meant to be good, isn't it? The sort of gliding, gliding the underwater. Yeah. So they have actually been shaking it up, and yeah. ultimately, it's such a big hit, you can't mm. mess with it too much. Yeah, I think the anti anti gravity angle could be quite yeah. interesting, really. It's surprising no one's really done that yet with yeah. that kind of racing game. Yeah. So I'm, yeah. mu I'm much happier with Mario Kart 8 than I was with Mario 3D 
Yeah. Yeah. Much yeah. happier. Mm. And I think that kind of ties into what Tom's saying is that it is such a, you know, you, you, they've done, they've created such a great template that you don't really mind how many times you play it because mm. it's just brilliant every single time. Yeah. And I think on we, I think what most excites me most about that is the fact that they made they made a point of saying the online is going to be really special on that. Yeah. And obviously, as we all know, whenever you get your 3DS out and you you want to have an online game, it's usually Mario Kart Seven. Even you know all this time after it's been out, yeah. it's still the main game. It will be quite interesting to see a game with that kind of connectivity on the Wii U. Yeah. So it's just the release date, I think, is a. Uh yeah, it was hinted it was going to be this year, that wasn't it? going to be a double yeah. sort of yeah. whammy with 3D Mario. Much like the 3DS real And if anything, they should have done it the other way around, because yeah. I think Mario Kart's the biggest seller. Yeah, yes. They did say it was so going to be this year, didn't they? season. Before, previously, they said yeah, it was going to be this year, so that's kind of like a little bit of a rug pull there. They've like yeah. kind of not mentioned it, but it has been pushed back a little bit. But I think that would have driven system sales a lot more for yeah, 3D Christmas. Mario. Because you look at Definitely. Wii, Mario Galaxy... One of the greatest games ever, but mm. the sales couldn't touch. The Mario game that Kart sold just, I lost count of the amount of people who bought a Wii just because Mario Kart was on it, yeah, and they exactly. weren't really gamers, they just yeah, bought it because so of that. So it's obviously a mistake, got, really. Yeah, pre yeah. Christmas would be the perfect time for it because it's it's a Christmas party game. Yeah. It's yeah. the game you sit yeah. down with your family yeah, definitely. and play. It's the game you get friends around for Christmas and play. Yeah. It's yeah. a missed opportunity. Yeah. Uh, they also touch very briefly, I thought, on the third party support which I suppose is all they really can do because there's not really much wasn't really many surprises there in terms of we already knew all of those games that were coming out and the footage was pretty standard stuff I mean what does that say about third party support on the Wii U really you know is it kind of getting to the stage now where the system is is living off mainly Nintendo published games I mean, they made a big thing about saying they, they, they value the support of the third parties, but... I think it's very worrying that all the 2014 games we've seen from Ubisoft and mm. EA so far, none of them, apart from just, just Dancers this year as well. So yeah, and you're not Ubisoft getting too excited revealed. about that, are you? No, no. <laughs> really? Ubisoft revealed three or four, like, yeah. 2014 games, and one or two of them looked really... Quite exciting. And they were all Xbox One, skipping. PS4. Yeah. Mm. yeah, I do wonder whether or not... I mean, Ubisoft have stuck it out longer than most third-party publishers, but you do wonder if their patience is starting to wane a little well, bit. Eventually, in terms business will just come into it. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's got to, hasn't it, eventually? They've, 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 I, I think mean, Ubisoft is sort of... I reckon they're probably looking... Mm. going to look at how Assassin's Creed 4... Yeah. and Watch Dogs yeah. and Splinter Cell and yeah. even Rayman Legends put, yeah. performs and then they might start yeah I mean it's surprising really they've got four of the biggest titles really yeah. you think about it coming up so I suppose they're going to be able to gauge how well they do will determine yeah. future support yeah. but that's but, the trouble though the, these games don't appear from three months after you know so if mm. they're not planning now yeah. to bring a lot of this future stuff for Wii U and if they're developing happen. for systems that are undoubtedly more powerful yeah. you've got the issue even if Wii U has a bump mm. will it be enough of a sales bump for them to think well we'll invest in scaling that one back or yeah. doing what we need to do to get it on Wii U and I think there's a bit of a bit of a concern we're not going to see much third party mm. next year I think this year's fine but next yeah. year's a bit worrying I think there's a possibility that they've started basic work on maybe things like Trials Fusion and just mm. just as a backup and, yeah. then, and then they're ready to roll out its full production once yeah. they've seen how these other titles perform but it's business at the end of the day isn't yeah. it and yeah. it's, it's yeah. quite unproven at the moment yeah I think Nintendo just have to get more consoles out there really. yeah. as yeah. soon as that happens then there's more people to buy yeah. third party games and I suppose that's tied in to getting those first party games out on the shelves to really sell stuff. I mean, we, we forget that when the Wii came out, it wasn't an instant blockbuster hit. It took some titles to get the, mm. the ball rolling, and then it became a time when everybody seemed to be dropping support for every other platform and moving everything to the Wii, mm. which I suppose could happen again if, if the Wii U gets the right titles. But it's. Uh, I think now that. Sony and Microsoft have actually revealed the consoles. It might actually help Wii U. It could do, it yeah. Was, it also, because it, before they were released, the Wii U was positioning itself on its own, really. Yeah. It nothing to position itself Now with. everyone knows what to expect. It can yeah. sort of put itself, yeah. not necessarily in the middle of them, but at the side and say, yeah. well, this is what we've got. 
I mean, I think also well. the fact that the the 360 and PS3 are still kind of they're still out there, they're still doing business, and while they are, mm. then there is a situation where games can be brought to the Wii U if need be because they've got comparable yeah. powered systems out there. I wonder if there's actually still for more third party games that we've just not heard about because. Mm. Call of Duty Ghosts currently isn't yeah. announced for the system, yeah. but the Wii U version of Black Ops 2 wasn't announced until pretty late yeah. in the game. Yeah, and we've heard so many rumours that it is definitely coming. That yeah, there's mm. GameStop, GameStop boxes, right? Yeah, that was a retail leak, I think, wasn't it? Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, moving on to, well, not Nintendo published games, but by third parties, we've obviously got Wonderful 101, which we know very well and we're looking forward to this time last year yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it might be out yeah. yeah and obviously Bayonetta 2 as well I mean both of those look fantastic what struck me about Wonderful 101 was that not many games have made use of the gamepad yet in, t- mm. in really unique mm. ways and yeah. with the whole way of you, you drawing your how you want the um, team to assemble on the gamepad that really struck me as like that is really a unique way of using the game yeah. pad that we've not really seen yet. Yeah. So and also when you go in inside houses and you see the content inside yeah, in interiors yeah. on the gamepad. That's it, that's actually the kind of thing I was expecting to see. Well, that's what, we, that's what we should have had from day mm. one, and we haven't really had it, have we, on the Wii U? I, it's I was not really go down pipes. You suddenly on the game. Yeah, from Mario, yeah, things yeah. like that. I remember the demo for One for One Hundred One, and the thing with the gestures yes. was it's just incredibly intuitive. Yes. There's only three on there, I think. Mm. Well, they might have evolved now. They might have made it a bit more flashy. But yeah. at the time, there were three sort of icons. Yeah. And if yeah, you memorise yeah. them, yeah. like that, figured out what each one did, it was just so intuitive yeah. to just yeah. mm. quickly yeah. do something yeah. and suddenly this great move kicks yeah. in. And yeah. It's yeah, it's kind of, I'd kind of like forgotten all of that stuff until yeah. the video <laughs> shown <laughs> today and then it's I could yeah, I really am looking forward yeah. to that game. You know, when's yeah. it going to come out? And the Bayonetta 2, which is obviously the first time we've seen yes. proper gameplay footage of it, Good. looks amazing. You have Can't that. wait to play it, <laughs> but will it sell consoles? That's the question. Um. We know that it's <laughs> going to have an audience out there, we know we're all yes. going to want to buy it, but... Mm. The most positive thing I took from it was it doesn't look like it's really lost anything. No, from, it just looks. It's you know from its movement to being a Nintendo exclusive title. No, it's, no, it's it's it's, it's the same old Bayonetta. Yeah. The Megatons are still coming. Yeah, oh, it it looked it's amazing, a, absolutely amazing. Looked definitely. I mean, I, Bayonetta One was such a blur that I can't actually remember <laughs> that much about it, but it did seem to look even better than that from sort of my memory. Yeah, uh, and then I suppose the other big news which we've already discussed quite a bit here, is that uh, Retro, their big massive secret project that was being hyped up by Reggie, is in fact another Donkey Kong game. Now I imagine the whole internet sighed at that <laughs> news. Um, we did anyway. But as we've said, we've said here, from a business perspective, Donkey Kong Country Returns was a massive commercial success for Nintendo and it's done the business again on the 3DS. So it's quite a sensible move from their perspective, and it does look great. Yeah, the way the game is, you know, it does look like that it's dialed up to the next level. It's going to be in HD. You can see his fur, which was a big selling point during the uh, Nintendo Direct. So, <laughs> you know, again, it's like it's that situation with Super Mario 3D World. We're going to play it. We're going to love it. But were we expecting more? That's the question. Were we expecting a new IP, a new yes. retro? <laughs> retro game? Dark Kong Country Returns was one of the, well, in my opinion, anyway, it's one of the great platformers so mm. having more of that's fantastic oh, yeah. but yeah we were all sort of fantasizing about retro uh, new star ip fox. or yeah you know, star fox going yeah. around or maybe a new metroid prime yeah. or something yeah. so which you know that led, led us to the thought that it, you know retro as we know have been staffing up mm. is this all they've been working yeah. on well they've been employing people that have worked on like third person yeah. adventure games and things like that haven't they and we did hear that there have been rumours going around saying that they were working on a new IP. Yes. So is it just not ready to show yet? Is it? I mean, this could be a new Super Mario Bros. syndrome where mm. whenever Nintendo's maybe in a bit of a tight spot, they've obviously got the engine and yeah. all yes. the setup, and, and they've they probably got teams who can put together put levels together. Yeah. really easily. So yeah. it might be a relatively quick project. Quick process, I mean, we're yeah. assuming this has been something they've been working on for a while, but well, maybe it isn't. Yeah. Maybe all they've done is improve the Wii. Possibly. Yeah. Well, they've had Assets Donkey Kong Country was 2010, it wasn't it? Yeah. 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 So they've had a few years to be working on this. But it could be a space filler. 
Mm. I just worry. But a lot of people said that about Donkey Kong Country Returns. <laughs> yeah, you know? yeah. I think it's a shame though because when they originally announced, they originally announced that Donkey Kong Country was returning a few years back, mm. that was a huge surprise to everyone. Yeah. And it was it was it was great. We all loved it. It came out. It was fantastic. This was it's less not of a surprise. surprise wasn't it? It's yeah. not a surprise <laughs> this time. It was what we weren't wanting. Yeah. Was, well, we actually said before, yeah. didn't we? We said, you know, what would be worst case scenario? Yeah. It would be another Donkey Kong with game Dixie Kong in it. Yeah, yeah, and that was true as well. <laughs> the only worst, the only worst case. Case. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Andy said that, so everyone can blame Andy. The only worst case is that Metro was doing Mario Kart, which would have been even worse. Yeah, yeah. 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 I think the, the worst thing is, though, they're building up expectation by not talking about it. Yeah, about that's true. Whatever this other project Retro has on, it's by the day, by the week, every time someone mentions a Nintendo Direct, People are saying, I hope it's Retro's game. I hope yeah. it's Retro's game. Yeah, it's, well, it's, it's been hyped for years, hasn't it? It's yeah. been hyped almost since Donkey, the original Donkey Kong Returns came out. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I, I don't want anyone watching this to think we're overly <laughs> negative about <laughs> any of this I'll, stuff. I'll, but I'll, I'll buy it day one. Yeah, exactly. Except we'll all year. buy it, we'll all love yeah. it. Yeah. So, you know, it, it's not like it's going to be completely ignored, but I suppose maybe we were getting a bit runaway. But, uh, you know, so basically. X was another announcement as well, or Cross, or whatever it's called, or yeah. whatever, you know, whether that is the final <laughs> title or not. A lot of footage shown, mm. and obviously there's people that are really big fans of like Xenoblade and all that kind of stuff that are going to be really hyped about that. Mm. Now, to me, I've not really played any of those games, so it's kind oh. of like I'm looking at it with fresh eyes, so I don't know whether, I mean, again, is this the kind of game that is really going to capture people's imaginations beyond the fan base that's already there that's kind of the big question maybe in Japan because yeah, yeah. The Japanese for, for me I don't I'm not really a huge RPG fan but I love Xenoblade mm. it was the, it's probably the first RPG I've played since something like Pokemon yeah in you know maybe 10 years or something like that it's, yeah and I absolutely loved it so maybe this can have a similar effect to other people that have mm. you know skipped out on RPGs I, I think know. if it does a business in Japan, that'll be a big help, won't it? Because yeah, obviously they, they need a game like that over in Japan, so hopefully it'll have that impact over there. I mean, it did look great. It's kind of like... I mean, yeah, that, I think the great thing is, visually it looks nice, mm. but not overly extravagant. No. But what that does mean is that it's probably going to be a huge world. I mean, Xenoblade mm. was just obscenely big. Yeah. yeah. Um, and there's no reason why they can't do that again. No. I suppose the other just thing looking at it, it's not sort of crazy no. specs needed to run no. it, I imagine. So I suppose the other, thing to, really big the other thing to note from it as well is it's coming at the start of the console's life, whereas like Xenoblade was yeah. quite yes. towards the end, so it's kind of it'd be interesting to see how it works with mm. you know, whether it does pull in an audience that's not already supporting the Wii U in that respect. I've got a feeling it's probably got an even bigger world than Xenoblade, considering they've put in mechs and stuff like that can fly around and cover yeah. terrain. Yeah, yeah that seems to be there seems to be a lot of ev emphasis there's on. A, there's a lot of yeah. territory there. Yeah, yeah, that, that really looks good. Um, and obviously, the big announcement saved at the end was something again we already knew, Smash Brothers. Uh, I did think it was going to be a new Animal Crossing game to start off with, <laughs> and, but no, that that looked really good as well. Um, one thing we did know, and we've commented on it as well, is kind of the, the graphical detail doesn't look extravagant, doesn't look too amazing. The 3DS version looks great. The cell shaded yeah, fantastic yeah. aesthetic on that looks really, yeah. really good. Mm. Um, but again, you know, it, it's, a, it's a known quantity. We know we're going to like it. We know we're going to enjoy it. You know, the, the, it doesn't feel really feel like there's much else you can say about it at this stage. You just, you just know it's going to be like a dead cert. Uh, I mean, the the confirmation that Mega Man was in it will no doubt make people a lot of people happy. Yes. But I right. can't help but feel that's about as much as Capcom are going to do for his 25th birthday now. I don't yeah. think he's really going to get I anything that else. That is it. Yeah, that is literally it. The big what, thing. What it, but, I mean, that, that, but that character looked brilliant. I mean, that was like, they gave that character the most footage out of the whole segment. Yeah. And the fact that he's taking all the different powers from all yeah. the different bosses looks great you know that, that, that looked really really good what if Nintendo are funding Mega Man Legends 3 well no, <laughs> dare they bring it really, back maybe yeah. just winding people up <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's could be the most elaborate form, the form, of, <laughs> nest. Yeah, elaborate form of trolling that yeah. they've ever done <laughs> but yeah I mean that, that's another game that um, you know everyone's really looking forward to and 
I mean, they, like we were saying earlier, they have confirmed that there is going to be cross-platform play. Um, yeah. That wasn't mentioned during that implicitly, was it? We're not sure, you know. Well, because they said it was coming it, on both systems. It was assumed, yeah. but they've not actually explicitly said, unless... That would be a pretty amazing selling point yeah. if you could play... Yeah. I mean, Monster yeah. Hunter 3 Ultimate did it brilliantly. Yeah. yeah. So I You'd don't, think I don't see why they can't if they base all the physics and stuff. Yeah, I assume the physics are going to be identical. The only thing, you, you're just going to be looking at... Yeah, yeah, the skins so. are different, but the actual data being sent to the server is going to be the same. You know, it's be going fantastic. To be able to, yeah, I, I think... Yeah. The, it, I can't see any reason why they wouldn't do it if they were going to aim for both formats, because surely you would... Yeah. Yeah, why you're would just they going to do one or the other, wouldn't you? Yeah. Yeah, you would Presumably they would come out about the same time as well. Yeah, well, I would imagine. I would imagine they're yeah. coming out on the same, the same day. day. The yeah, I'd probably get both. Yeah, yeah. It'd be interesting. It'd be interesting to see if there's any unique features between the two formats as well. Because obviously, I mean, you've got the visuals which are different. Mm, yeah. But is there going to be anything that's unique to both systems? I think and things like that would come into. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I imagine the, the rosters will be the same. Yeah. Yeah. They might even make a Mia character. Mm. You know, could do, couldn't they? Like, and it'd be good if they could get the whole thing. With, yeah, yeah. Basically, you you battle at home mm. on the Wii, yeah. and then you take your 3DS out, and it's the same data, and then yeah. you're. You can bring Street Pass data yeah. home, and then it connects. Those me's on your Wii. Yeah, yeah, th that would be. Maybe it'll even be in the cloud. And not, like a chance <laughs> for that. This is Nintendo we're talking about. Don't yeah. get too excited. But um, I can't oh. wait to fight with um, the Animal Crossing villager. Yeah, that's going <laughs> to. going to be really. It's, it's pretty much like Tom Nook, isn't it? Really, you could just sort of. Yeah, I was just really expecting it to be Tom Nook. Because mm. let's face it, everybody wants. To Everyone wants to be him Tom Nook. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of payback time. <laughs> Oh, do you think we Nintendo have got anything else? I mean, this E3 is practically just started, really. So it's kind of like we've got all the announcements out of the way, and now it's like the show floor stuff. We know that Nintendo going to be showing other stuff because they put trailers up for stuff like Yoshi's New Island and the newly named Zelda, which is uh, a link to the a link between a link between worlds. worlds yeah, so they 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 they're, they're going to be showing other stuff there that wasn't on the direct. Do you think there's any chance we're going to see anything else revealed during Last the next year few when days? Last year sat here, we didn't know about Wonderful 101. Because yeah. Because that wasn't in Internal Direct and that was all new. Yeah. So the optimist in me hopes that Could something we see else is going to come up. We have yeah. seen games announced at the round tables later. Yeah. yeah. So there are, there are software showcases in the next few hours. Yeah. So, I mean, Smash Bros. Brawl was only ever announced in a round table. In yeah. the first place, we saw Skyward Sword concept art in one of these round tables. Yeah, we could see something. And Capcom are live streaming as well. They might just throw a monster there. Mm. Yeah. Well, the of that. I'm surprised we didn't see any monsters yeah. before. Yeah, I suppose what we've got to remember is that there are third parties. There are still third parties out there yeah. that are releasing stuff on Nintendo systems. Yeah, that's a, forgot about it completely. It's so a good we the other stuff because yeah. the third party list didn't even feature things like no, Ace Attorney, perhaps, Dual Destinies. Perhaps maybe that's why it looks so weak, because yeah, they, these third parties have said, look, hold off, we want to do yeah, our own thing during it. our own conference. Yeah. So, I mean, the optimist in me hopes that we will see something new announced, something big announced before the end of the day, because at the end of the day, during the conference, people coming on the booth tours and stuff, if they were to, were to just reveal something to the, to the press that are there, that is still going to get out to yeah. the wider world and we're going to see big news on it. Um, I suppose the big question is Nintendo decided not to do the E3 presser mm. was this a better move do, do you think they could have done a stronger E3 presser or was this the wise choice considering that because we've we've briefly looked on Twitter and obviously there has been quite a lot of negative reaction to what was shown so would that have been made worse if it was a live event or you know, was this the right way to do it I think this was the wise move to do because yeah. otherwise, looking at the third party list, we know it's not complete. Yeah. But w you know that those third parties on that list are the ones that would have been called upon stage. Yeah. We would have got Assassin's Creed 4 on stage. We had it at the Sony. Event. Yeah, it would have, yeah, would have, would have been Batman, dull, wouldn't it? We would have Batman on stage. Yeah. People bagged on instead of putting Batman on stage last year. Yeah. And we had Sony doing Batman this year. Yeah. What, what were they going to put on stage? Just Dance? Yeah, exactly. Disney's I think, Planes? I think if they were going to put do an actual and they'd have they wouldn't have done the 3DS Nintendo Direct from a few months back. No, no they would have probably saved it saved it all up, stored it all yeah. up, just yeah. slammed it all on you yeah. I think if you'd combine the Nintendo Directs that we have seen like so the January one the 3DS one yeah. and this stuff hadn't been announced beforehand this would have been an amazing presentation mm. But we knew that we knew that we were getting 3D Mario we knew that we were getting Mario Kart we knew we were getting Smash Brothers and there were no surprises I think the only 
criticism I'd have is that, like we've already said it, we know they're going to show more. Like they said in the last in Town Direct, oh, they'll show Pokemon, Pokemon, Pikmin 3 multiplayer yeah. and challenge modes and all this mm. stuff. Um, so so that's nice, that. but the trouble is that while the likes of us and our readers will be following all this stuff and really enjoying all the details, most people focus on the main event. Yes. So I think, you know, I was surprised when we saw it was like 40 minutes. Mm. And, you know, I think they should have taken an hour and yeah, they should crammed have. as much as they could in, including the stuff they're going to show later on because the general public might watch a bit of that 40 minutes and think, well, that's a bit... It's a bit well, they could have taken off, you know. some of the 3DS stuff. You know, their, their YouTube channel is currently full of videos. We've got Yoshi's yeah. New Island, none of it the new Zelda it. for 3DS. Put them in the Nintendo Direct. Yeah, that was quite that's interesting. I mean, that they were great stuff, yeah, we but really we, we only found it by going to the YouTube channel. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. We're going to take a short break in a minute. Um, what you'll be able to do is if you're following this on the website you can put up questions in the live stream and then you will we'll answer them during this segment so uh, if you've got any burning questions you want to ask put the uh, put them in the live chat and then we'll do our best to answer them shortly okay so we're back for a second segment and now we're just going to answer some of your reader questions uh, if you just use a live chat on the right side of the screen and uh, I'll fire some of your, your comments to the guys so Firstly, where's he gone? Five Digit LP says, um, "How strongly do you guys feel about a price drop? Do you think they need to announce one soon? In presumably in relation to Wii U rather than 3DS." <laughs> yeah, I think it's I think it's definitely need now. Now people know how much the Xbox One and the PS4 are going to cost. I think definitely there's got to be a price drop. Maybe not immediately, but before Christmas, which is what everyone's sort of expecting. Yeah. It's kind of like the Vita 3DS thing. When they didn't, Vita came out and said, "Yeah, aren't we great? It's two hundred and fifty dollars." And Nintendo didn't react right away, but I no. think there was a Nintendo Direct three weeks later or something mm-hmm. where they then announced the price drop. So yeah, I think fifty dollars would do it. They haven't well, they haven't announced the white thirty-two gig yet. Yeah, so if they don't do that later, be, then yeah. that could be a Nintendo yeah. Direct. I suppose from Nintendo's point of view. They don't have to do anything yet because at the moment it's still yeah. just they're the only one with a console out on the market, aren't yeah. they? So. Well, a few retailers have already tried a price cut. Yeah. It hasn't been a major success. No, no. But we've not had that combined with, no, say, yeah. a new Mario game. Yeah. Or if it came out with the, the new Mario game for Christmas then. I think, it, I think it'd, it'd do something to boost things yeah. a little bit. It, anything that can get more consoles into mm. the wild is a good idea, really. Well, Nintendo Land arguably hasn't been the bundle packing title that they thought it was going to be in yeah. terms of selling systems it's you know Wii Sports sold systems on its own so uh, yeah I think if they can bundle it with another big title you know maybe we'll see a Mario Kart bundle but that is way off in the future yes, so yeah. at the same time I don't think they'll really want to be doing too significant a one because I think they'll want to avoid another ambassador program because you, yeah. don't, you don't want to make that a regularity when no. you're buying an You don't want to do it twice, do it's you? A, it's a one, that's a one-time joke card. Yeah, you don't yeah. want to be doing that again. Yeah. I'd be quite happy to take some free games. I'd be, I'd I think we all are. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, I'd love some free GameCube games or some yeah. N64 games, yeah. but it sets a bad precedent. Yeah. 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 Okay, so um, this is kind of... We've covered this already a little bit, but it's popping up quite a few times. But uh, Stark Nebula wants to know... What did you think of Retro making a Donkey Kong Country sequel? Do you think that was a wise decision, or should they put the talents elsewhere, a new IP, something like that? Yeah, Maybe it's in an old franchise. We so kind of covered it, haven't we? But I, I think, as we said before, as a, from a pure business perspective, it was a right decision yeah. to make because it's a proven IP. They know it's going to sell. Um, they've they've got the technology, they've got the design, they've got the assets to do it, to do that relatively quickly and effortlessly. Uh, yeah, I mean, we, we, as we've all said, we wanted to see them do something, you know, a new IP or maybe even revisit an old Nintendo IP and really sort of, you know, do another Metroid on it, basically. Yeah. But, you know, well, like, we'll, we'll, we'll all buy it, we'll enjoy yeah. it, you know. Yeah, I think we are being a bit, I don't know, it feels a bit negative, but... It does, but that's only, <laughs> that's only because yeah, we've had we, ourselves, we've the hype was there, wasn't it, you know. It's just because it wasn't a big surprise this time. No, around. no. And, 
I blame Reggie. Reggie was hiding <laughs> yeah. he was saying it was going to be amazing. But that that makes me think that we've not seen everything they're working on. Mm. Surely they have not staffed. They've got not taken in all these staff just to create a HD version of something they did three years ago. Yeah. It does feel like it's a side project. More yeah, than yeah, to tide them over. I mean, um, I think that's probably more a more likely story. When we'll find out about that new title. That could be. So we think. <laughs> <laughs> so we think retro are working on two different projects. Uh, I think yes. they've got to be. I think they've got to be. To to to. We know that they've they've staffed up. We know they've they've gone to bigger offices. Why would you do that just to do something that is along the same lines of what you did before? So, yeah, I, I definitely think they must be working on something else. They're working on Mario Kart Nine. <laughs> Possibly, yeah, oh, no. and that's got cats and dogs in it as well. Yes, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mario Party X. Mario Party X, yeah, yeah, a mature that's version of Mario Party. <laughs> that's yeah. why Mario pa- that, no, That's why Wii Party's been delayed. It's because it's been moved over to retro. That's right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Akira nineteen seventy five simply wants to know where the hell is Star Fox. Well, we well I wanted Retro to be doing it. I've, I've, have, you <laughs> hidden, have you hidden him, Damien? It's missing. I've not hidden him anywhere. No, no, I just no. wish <laughs> just do a sequel to Star Fox 64. It's been too long. Yeah. Far yeah too it's long. one of the lost franchises, isn't it? Yeah. Along with F Zero. The original right there behind you, Andy. <laughs> yeah. Why that wars? Let's not get into that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I wonder if, if they do a new Star Fox, is it even going to be a Wii U title though? Is it not going to be a 3DS They're just going to give it. To, they're oh. going to give it to Namco again. I, I think with uh, things like yes, <laughs> they've already done the 3D remake. Yeah. I think with things like Star Fox and F Zero, the answer is simple. They can do Wii U eShop games. Yeah. You know, twelve, fifteen dollars. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's basically like a two, three hour mm. thing. Because let's be honest, uh, Star Fox sixty four and three D. It's it's like an arcade it's an arcade on rails game mm, and, yeah. and you can blast through it in yeah. an hour. Yeah, no yeah. problem. Yeah, just all the you different routes. Really do all the yeah. routes in three hours. Yeah, yeah. they're probably like double, triple. Like, so and yeah, FC yeah, is just massive. Yeah, tracks. You know, so My if, if they're scared about it flopping at retail, just do it too long. Yeah. Then try it as a demo. Yeah. Get these little teams. But like, like I, th- I saw, yeah. saw stats that when they released Star Fox 3D on the eShop, uh, something like. So a massive percent of its total sales, physical and digital, occurred on, on the digital storefront. Mm-hmm. So obviously there is a market out there for yeah. it. People want it. I mean, what my concern is, is um, and I think Nintendo are going to find this more and more as the generation goes on, is how do you update Star Fox when it came out? Came out on the SNES, and it was like, oh, it's an action game, but we've put cute characters in it. Mm. Now. The modern audience, when they want, what what would you want from a Star Fox game? You're going to want action. You're going to want. It's going to be pretty action packed. But then you're still going to be controlling a fox and a frog and stuff like that. <laughs> so I suppose that's the difficulty they've got of updating it for a modern machine with modern graphics. It's yeah. like that cute element. Do you retain that or do you make it mature and sort of scale that back? And they retain the cute element and everything else. I don't see why they can't do it with yeah. these I, franchises. I wouldn't mind once Smash Bros is finished if uh, Sakurai could. Have a go at it because that kind of the Kid Icarus Rising style of dialogue I feel would fit in with the that was a step up, well. wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. It was still quite that, cute and cuddly, but yeah. I thought that was quite mature in a lot of ways. Yeah. Uprising was, and it was kind of it felt like a step forward, yeah. uh, sort of stylistically. That said, I would like Platinum to have a go at it as well. You just like Platinum to do every game. I would have Platinum yeah, to love it every game. game. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> okay, so Warner Dunn uh, would like to know. Do you think Nintendo should have given a Wii Virtual Console update during his during his direct? Said it would have been nice to hear about the GameCube, Sega Saturn, and maybe even the Dreamcast. Oh yeah, yes. I ask, I talk yes. about this all the time. <laughs> not just a Wii U. <laughs> why can you not play SNES games on the 3DS yet? I just do not get it. And why the Nintendo and all of its third party partners that work with it on DS, Game Boy Advance, they're sitting on an absolute gold mine of yeah. content. But that's the kind of thing that. We've been saying maybe should have been in the main presentation, but mm. if they're gonna sort of save some announcements for these videos they've got, That'll they might even do yeah, stuff sure. tomorrow yeah, yeah. to try and grab headlines. Yeah. I mean, that's d- the d- kind of thing they might still put. You know, it's not over yeah. yet. DS stuff is what uh, we look at the kind of file sizes we download. People oh, will download yeah. Donkey Kong on the 3DS. Yeah. Why are they not putting up DS titles? Yeah, because exactly. we know they work. The tech works with DS already. So why not start pushing out first party DS titles onto the eShop, price them, you know, ten pounds, ten dollars or whatever. Mm. 
and you, then you can open up third parties can have access to that then and they've got they've just got I mean the DS just had a massive catalog of great games and that is one way of plugging a gap I mean on, on Wii U which is what the comment was about that could be a way of plugging a gap because you could I mean certainly GameCube games I mean certainly from personal perspective I, I didn't give the GameCube enough time when it, the machine was current I'd love to re-experience some of that stuff but then is the Nintendo way of doing it HD updates that's, yeah, that's the thing even without GameCube though the, the Sega examples are good ones mm. we've seen the Mega Drive yeah. Yeah. did we get a Master System on the Wii? I can't remember but I don't understand so why we have Game got, Gear, which was almost the same thing. Why do we have Game Boy Advance Virtual Console announced for Wii U, but not, Wii U. <laughs> but not for 3DS? Yeah, yeah, we yeah. already have Game Boy Advance yeah, games, yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah so it's kind of like... A, bring them yeah, out, yeah. let people pay for them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. okay, yeah. so basically yeah. Nintendo yeah. needs to sort all that out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and so cross Lord Giovanni says, when are any other messages from Nintendo going to be published? Is there going to be a 3DS Direct? And if so, do we know when it is yet? And as far as I know, no. Well, we did we, say, we did we did say there might be a 3DS one a tomorrow, one. but I, I'm, okay. I'm, I'm not it's sure. Not announced. Announced. It's not I'm not sure there's going to be now. I think they would have announced it during that, and because that had 3DS stuff in it anyway. Um, we know that there are going to be developer interviews yeah. put yeah. on Nintendo's website in the, in a couple of hours, um, mm. and we know that there's a software recap later on, and then. A few hours after that, in the early hours of tomorrow morning, we're going to have the Pokemon Direct. Mm. So maybe 3DS stuff will tie into that, but we're not really sure yet. Yeah, mm. I'm surprised we've not had any questions about what you two guys are wearing yet. Has no one asked that? Uh, just a few comments. Yeah. Nibble lilt. So um, you can get people's Twitter names wrong, they don't get offended. Yeah, okay. So, uh, what do you guys think about the reaction online to the Direct? But to be honest, we haven't really had a chance to see We just had a quick glance, yeah, I'm and it seems to be mainly disappointment. There were a couple of people going, like, you know, basically saying, you know, this this is still, this these are still great games that have been Whether announced. Whether or not you were expecting them. Or yeah, like, exactly, yeah. yeah well, your expectation yeah. is one thing, but at the end of the day, you could look at the games that have been announced and... They're still gonna, you know, they're gonna be triple A games. They're gonna be amazing. You're gonna buy them. Yeah. Again, I think it's, but it's like we've said, the announ- the sort of expectation has been built up to such a level that we could only really be disappointed unless yeah. we got exactly what we wanted. I think from what I've seen, people are more disappointed at the lack of surprises than anything yeah. else. Maybe Nintendo shouldn't have told us that no. we'd see Smash Brothers. No, mm. yeah. it shouldn't. Yeah. It should have been. That could have been there. Could have been a surprise. Broadcast. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Same with we all knew it was coming, so. Yeah. Mm. yeah. It's a shame. Okay, so Akira1975 is back on. Uh, he or she would like to know are there any other existing IPs that you guys would like to see reworked for the Wii U? F Zero. Star Fox. Yeah, I've got to say Star Fox. Fire Emblem would be pretty good as well, actually. Yeah, yeah, the Wii U. Shouldn't we give you Tensai crossover, I guess? Yeah, yeah. Well, not really the same thing. Not sure if that counts. No. F0, definitely. Mm. Why, why, why that has not been updated yet? <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. It's uh, that is definitely a title I want to see. Um, yeah, I mean, there's quite a lot of other games. That, I mean, I think a Kid Icarus, a proper HD version of that on Wii U, would be nice to see. Mm-hmm. Um, Trouble is though, if you give a game to Sakurai, it takes. Forever. Yes, they do. <laughs> they'd have to give it to someone else. Just yeah. Because I don't platinum. Th- I don't think I'd like. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I'd like to see a kid at Chris game about Sakurai now, though. Yeah, yeah but that, that's I mean, that's years away. Years. Yeah. 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 I think I'd like to see an Akami game as well. Yeah. Akami. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, platinum can do that. Yeah. yeah. They don't own it, though, do they? No. It's okay. Let's not get into that. <laughs> <laughs> Smash Gamer 1995. He's, he's asked this a few times, but he's, this time he's written in all capitals. So. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, yeah, on, right. You better do it. Um, you better read it out. Um, what other Super Smash Brothers characters would you want to see? I think what he means Tom by Milk. that is what characters do you want to see in Super Smash Brothers? Sna- Snake's not, not in you want. this one, is he? Well, no, I'm not sure. That's a shame. Well, Tom Nook. They only showed the major characters, yeah. really. Mm. Yeah. I've always wanted to see like um, a Baby Mario, Baby Luigi combo. Yeah. Like the other like <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think that would be pretty really cool. Yeah. And I think yeah. we'll probably see Crom from Fire and Replace. Yeah. Ike. Yeah. yeah. Little Mac. Yeah. yeah. Little yeah. Mac. Yeah. Yeah. I think um, you said it earlier as well. It would actually be cool if you can pick your me. Mm. Mm. Yeah. And it yeah. wouldn't be that hard. They could no, just give him no. some basic moves. Generic moves. Him or her yeah. basic moves. Yeah, we could build your moveset up from 
the existing yeah, moves like within the game, couldn't you? Yeah. That'd be a neat touch kind of character, almost like a character to create with mm. me. I think they could also really go into the eShop with some of the stuff because they've got Mallow from Paul Blocks, Four Blocks, ah, yeah, yeah, whatever yeah, you call yeah. it. Yeah. Um, uh, Rob, Rob Dylan, Dylan from Dylan's Rob, Rob yeah, Western. Yeah. They've got, um, I don't know what the main character's called in uh, Hannah Samurai. Uh, it's called Hannah? I don't know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> throw them in. Yeah. <laughs> throw them all yeah, in. Yeah. Even, if, even if they're just assist characters, we could, they, oh, yeah. they could be in there. Seeing as they're not bothering with any Wii U eShop games, they'll have to be the... PDS one. Yeah. <laughs> I suppose you've also got, but then you've got the danger of sort of crossovers like um, Assassin's Creed and the Soul Calibur situation where. Yes. Does that open the door for that, you know? I wouldn't mind seeing a couple more third party characters that, Rayman? Are, that are appropriate. Exactly. Rayman. Rayman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that worked well. Shulk. Yeah. Why Shulk line? Yeah. yeah, why not? I, I, I would rather have seen Shulk in that reveal, to be honest, than. Why Megan. not? <laughs> I've never played Mega Man games. So. <laughs> um, this is kind of a long shot from Peach sixty four, but do you think that Super Mario three D World started as a three DS game and then was ported over to the Wii U? I thought when the footage started up that it was another three DS sequel, yeah. but then I was watching the stream in two forty yeah, to make totally sure it yeah. didn't crash on me all the time, <laughs> so I couldn't really tell what like, resolution was. Um, I'm not sure about that. Uh, I don't think. They would have ported it up to the Wii U. I think it probably was yeah. destined to be on it from the start. It's possible. Maybe, yeah. maybe three D Land and three D World were both being developed side by side. Iwata yeah, did. Iwata did kind of say it's almost like a new Super Mario thing. Mm. He kind of said, and this it was continues a new, as yeah, series, yeah, which is what happened with the DS this 3D Wii. style. Yeah, so mm. I, yeah, it's like they're trying to turn it into a franchise. A sub franchise, yeah, like yeah. New Super um, new Mario. So I suspect it was planned all along. Like yeah, first, yeah. Like World Two. Yeah. yeah. I just can't help but think that it's not going to be as effective on the Wii U without no. the 3D effect. No. I just thought that was that was one of the, my, my favourite elements of the 3DS version is that, you know those moments when you're really high up and you look you were looking down on the platforms to jump on it was like it was a real sensation of vertigo on it. So yeah. Was kind yeah. of like the multiplayer is the selling point. That's point. yeah yeah that's definitely going what they're going to be uh, pushing it on I think. A uh, question that's coming from a few people is, uh, do you think uh, Nintendo are really utilising the Wii U gamepad? I mean, yeah. we, we saw with the Wii that third parties mainly relegated it to Waggle, yeah. and it seems that like they're kind of just using it for inventory screen. I think that's the, that's the curse of when you've got a system that's got a unique control method, because... Uh, you have to come up with ways. Yeah, yeah, you have to put more effort in. It's not when you're creating a game that's cross-platform and it's on Xbox, PS3 and Wii, how do you then introduce something that's quite as revolutionary as a gamepad without having to completely retool the entire game? It's mm. you know, and then then you've got the problem that if if you then focus on just doing the Wii U, then you're potentially missing out on it being cross-platform. Mm. I mean, I thought the Zombie U was a good example of like a third party really using the gamepad yeah. as well as it possibly could be. But then arguably you could do that game without the gamepad as well. It's kind of like it wasn't. Yeah. Totally unique. I wonder whether we're being harsh in a sense that with things like Mario Kart and 3D Mario and these kind of franchises, there's only so much you can do. But they have, yeah. they did do Nintendo Land, which couldn't have used it in many more ways. Yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. Um, Game and Wario is another one, which yes. is all yeah. about messing with the game pads. Yeah, yeah. Game um, and Wario is that's that's one of the Wii Party is another one. Yeah, well. yeah. I mean, maybe we're judging too so, soon on yeah. in some of these cases because we've not necessarily seen what. Mario 3D World is doing with no, it. Yeah, we've no. not seen what Mario Kart's doing with it. No. And if they just used it for the sake of using it, you know what everyone would say. Yeah. yeah. They're tacking yeah, yeah. on gimmicks. Well, it was a kind of the same syndrome so, with the DS, with the touchscreen on the DS. I remember yeah. it was. It started off being great, then it kind of got a little bit samey, and then I remember um, the Zelda Phantom Hourglass came out, and, and then it was the whole stuff, style, yeah. which amazes me that no one else has copied since then, because mm. it was just such an intuitive way of controlling the character. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean that, that that was the same syndrome. It was the like, oh, you know, I, I know I know a lot of developers just in the end just stopped using the bottom screen on the DS mm. for any kind of touch element whatsoever. So um, yeah, I think it's a bit difficult. It must be difficult for developers. It must be difficult for Nintendo as well, because obviously they know. That there's a lot of potential in the controller, and they've obviously got a lot of faith in it. I mean, there's a lot of things you overlook with the gamepad. It's just I, I love the fact that you can just play SNES games on it wherever you you know as long as you're within range of the machine, you can just sit on the couch and play SNES games yeah. on it. And 
and you know you can the fact that I can control my telly with it still amazes me <laughs> <laughs> you know that's one of the best things about it so yeah I mean um, like we touched on Wonderful 101 that looks like it's going to really genuinely use the gamepad yeah. in a unique way and hopefully there's going to be more of that it's pretty experimental at the moment for developers yeah you get the feeling that no one really knows how to use it yet and that's kind of like I mean including Nintendo I mean it's not I don't think they really know we haven't seen the killer application of the gamepad yet and that that's probably why uh, it's struggling to sort of really capture the imagination of the public I hope really that Ubisoft end up coming up with a second game that mm. uses that gamepad because that game could be Watch Dogs. Yeah. If they if they position it. It right. seems built around it, but the fact that it's multi-platform makes me worry that it's not going to yeah. really push but it. But they they are using smart glass on things like the Xbox yeah. One, things like that. So yeah. I say those functions yeah. couldn't just come over onto the Wii tablet. Yeah. And the, the, the demo, <laughs> on, they were demoing it on PS Four. Can with the three, uh, and they were kind of using the, the touch, touch thing, thing yeah. to yeah. kind of swipe through and on yeah. the screen hard but they could in theory just transport it that must be so them. difficult for developers to do this when they've got all these different yeah. peripheral yeah it must be control th- methods it must be really really hard well you've got you've got smart glass connect then you've got a PSI yeah. touch pad you've got a game pad mm. <laughs> so we've got a question from a certain Aunt Dickens not not sure who this guy is. <laughs> you don't know who he is. Can you block that one? <laughs> uh, if you'd like to know, what do you think about the state of independent games on the Wii U? Because obviously we heard a lot about we heard a lot from indie developers kind of mm. praising it, saying it's very indie friendly. Um, but yet we've really not seen that many games announced. No, there was a very games. very short segment wasn't yeah. it, showing off uh, Cloudberry Kingdom and stuff like that, which we knew about mm-hmm. uh, Abe's Odyssey, the remake. Which yeah. was news, I think. We didn't yes. know that yeah. was coming. Got announced for PS4. Yeah, so, so that's quite nice. That's um, that's coming to that. Saw some footage of Scram Kitty and his buddy on rails. Yeah, which is an, another yeah. new new thing. Yeah, that's looking good. Um, I think when you've got a, a, a sort of presentation like that, I think it's difficult to sort of justify giving a lot of time to independent stuff yeah. with the way the market is now, mm-hmm. because um, I think a lot of players still see it as peripheral. To like all the big games, I think yeah, I think twen- other twenty fourteen could potentially be a horrible year in terms of sort of big third third party games. It could mm. be a really good year with the indie, indie. projects because well, we, so, so many have said we're working on it. So yeah, many it's just been weekly occurs, isn't it? New but, games getting announced. You know, it takes time even mm. for smaller games. Yeah, well, arguably takes just as long because you've got smaller teams. Yeah, yeah. Well, we've we've so. we've got a huge list of indie games that are coming to. Wii U, haven't we? Mm. Yeah, a lot of them. There must be 30, <laughs> yeah. 30 to 40 games on that list. I'm more yeah. excited about some of the indie games. Yeah, there, definitely. Like, yeah. Ones. like 90s Arcade Racer just looks amazing. Yes, it Shovel does. Night. Yeah, Shovel Knight. Like, I mean, that was showing, that looks fantastic. Um, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of exciting games. Uh, whether or not they could, they've got the momentum to take the content, because obviously what's going to happen is of these indies have still got to make money. Yeah. And if it turns out that they're releasing these games and then the market's not there... Then Ooh. they will quickly migrate yeah. to other platforms, and another, that's what they've got to watch for. Another thing, though, when for that, I think it was the financials a couple of months ago, they announced that they had this infrastructure now where essentially studios would have professional tools to mm. almost port uh, tablet smartphone games. This is like which may make the, the unit stuff. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. But yeah. But the web if there is genuinely a tool which yeah. you say there is, to yeah. do that, then we may. S- Again, maybe five, six months yeah, down the yeah. line, we may start to see all these games flooding in because. Yeah, I do think it's odd that there hasn't been the more. Process. Of that yet because at the end of the day, the we I know yeah, the game has the game plan. exactly. It can mimic uh, a tablet device, so they must be able to port stuff. I mean, pretty easily. I imagine they had a bit of a surge of interest after the GDC when they opened yeah. up, and whether they've got through all those yet is yeah, a question. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, well, um, the, the, the developers seem to be saying nothing but positive things about how yeah. Nintendo's treating indies. So hopefully, we'll see yeah. that come to well, fruition later yeah, in the year. In interviews with. You know, we've conducted with indies, we've had positive comments yeah. about sales, Nothing but, like yeah. trying to from Frozen mm-hmm. Bike, for example. Yeah, which is night and day compared to what it was on the Wii. Yeah, we were so, yeah. yeah. Uh, this next question I feel is kind of a damning indictment of the uh, quality of questions that we receive at the moment. Step your game, guys. Uh, but DRL would like to know which end lifers loves pizza the most, and would you like to come to America and have a pizza party with me? I think it's these two guys, isn't it? They're already suited and booted up for it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll 
Yeah. Yeah. Same, We've got same the Italian. <laughs> I think we've got pizza on the way, haven't we? I would love to. We were yeah, don't get ahead of yourself. I know you're hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a hint? So you know, we got a pizza. Someone <laughs> ring. Can we get the pizza? Yeah. <laughs> so I think, I think that's a no. To do that. um, All in good time. What else have we got? Um, Smash game is back on. Um, we've got Nibble Wilts. Is the cat suit cute? Or is the cat suit cute? Or is it creepy? I that would be the other question. I don't like cats, so, yeah. okay. well, so that's why I said I'd rather have a dog suit. Yeah. I think it's kind of cute, but it's a bit sneaky, isn't it? Because you, can, you don't even have to land on the top of the pole anymore. You can just climb yeah, that the pole. That was super yeah. sneaky, wasn't it? That really? I mean, that, that just goes Dirty against cats. everything you've been taught <laughs> since 1985. You, know? you were told you've got to land on the top of that flagpole, and now you can just crawl up it. Cats yeah. coming oh, in. Cat, just dumbing it, dumbing it down <laughs> the casual yeah. game. Yeah. It's okay. It was <laughs> cute but cheap, I'll put it that way. We've seen a few calls for um, people wanting to see a new Ice Climbers reboot. Yes. Uh, so I don't get that. I don't get that. <laughs> yeah, I think. I don't get it at all. I'd rather see Blue Kid. Well, Blue <laughs> Kid <laughs> rebooted. A Mirror's Edge style Ice Climbers. I, think, I, no, I, I, I assume that was a tongue in cheek comment. I want, I want survival <laughs> horror Ice Climbers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 18 <laughs> rated Ice Climbers. It's cold mountain, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You can easily make No, I do, ge- yeah, I do yeah, genuinely yeah. want an Ice Climbers, new, new Ice Climbers game. It doesn't have to be a complete reboot, but I would like a new game. I don't get the amount of love that game gets, but no. then again, I suppose everyone's got their little guilty pleasure, haven't yeah. they? Yeah. <laughs> I, <guess so. laughs> I, just, I love the characters. I think they're cute. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm just laughing because Keldy also says, oh God, I think I see a Vita on that table. Poor you see table. two Vitas. Two now. <laughs> Well spotted, sir. Well spotted. Yeah, As we've so, said, uh, we've said previously in the office, we've got like fifty percent of all Vitas yeah. sold in this <laughs> office right now. So two. <laughs> <laughs> um, hoverboard one two three would like to know that even though we did see the new official Mario Kart, do you think that the rumor about the Sonic and All Stars racing thing could still? Happen? Yeah, I think there's something happening there. Sumo Digital Kart. wouldn't have gone and tweeted about that if yeah. there wasn't something yeah. planned. I don't know whether they're gonna. It's gonna be revealed that Sonic's part of it and they've collaborated on the. I mean, when I saw like when I saw well, the game, that'd be that yeah. if they released two yeah. card games like within months. Well, they they basically said they're gonna settle the rivalry, so. Maybe Sonic's going to be a playable character. I think it's being yeah. the down the road. Mm. I think no, it might I be that the f- Sumo Digital of you know you've got like Luigi's Mansion was next level. Uh, you know, maybe Sumo Digital have collaborated and maybe helped done out. A few tracks like Vetro yeah. did the Donkey mm. Kong track. But when I saw the carts transforming, Seven. I thought, okay, yeah, this is what yeah. they've done. But then I realised it was just the I mean, hover, you know, the anti gravity thing. The tweet from Sumo wasn't exactly. Like we have something built. It was more yeah. I think considering the future, wasn't it? Really? Yeah. It was hinting. They sounded so like it sounded, years it sounded like they were working on they said we're gonna yeah. settle it once and for all. Yeah. So, you know, maybe it could it could easily be part of the Sega and Nintendo partnership. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I think last question now, we've been going for nearly an hour. Um three DS Luigi says Is Nintendo right to choose sort of a cell shaded look for Super Smash Bros. three DS? It reminds him of Street Fighter times Tekken, cross Tekken. I think it looks great. Doesn't it? I think it kind of look like melee, yeah. like a cell shaded melee. Well, it was it was cell shaded, but really all it was is that we're putting a black yeah, outline on the yeah, characters, yeah. weren't they? Which I think is maybe just to make them stand out more on a smaller yeah. screen. Yeah. So, but no, I thought it looked great. I thought it looked yeah, really, I have no problem. It worked really well. Yeah, I, I don't. I think that's a pretty good system. So yeah, so as Roy says, we've been talking for an hour now. I know you'll probably. Be Board. These guys want pizza, as you can see, and so does Rory. Yeah, <laughs> so. so anyway, thanks, thanks for listening. Hopefully, this has been insightful and entertaining, and we'll hopefully do more stuff like this in the future. So uh, give us your feedback, post comments on the site, tell us on Twitter what you thought, pick up the mistakes, you know, <laughs> tell us off for having Vitas on the table, yeah. <laughs> spot spot where the teddies have gone around the room, you know. Yeah. But anyway, it's great. Hope you've all enjoyed. You're not too disappointed with the whole Nintendo Direct, and uh, we'll see you again soon. Ciao. See you later. Bye-bye. Bye.